Good evening students. We are back with our physical education lectures in which we are going we are studying yoga and lifestyle that is our third unit. So previously we have studied regarding diabetes, asthma and the asans that would cure that disorder. So now we are going to discuss regarding hypertension and back pain. So as you all know that we uh, we have excluded i mean the cbse board has excluded back pain for this coming year due to covid-19 so now the topics that we are going to study in this part are that is hypertension and back pain but back pain we are not going to study so we will be elaborating on the we will be preferably studying about hypertension you must be knowing you must be knowing about hypertension because this is the main thing that people face during 12th standard so we'll be elaborating on hypertension so what is hypertension hypertension is also known as high blood pressure healthy lifestyle changes are important for lowering blood pressure if blood pressure is controlled by healthy lifestyle it can avoid delay or reduce the need of medication so in the figure that is shown in the slide there are two images in first one there is no hypertension and the second image is hypertension so the heart pumping is normal in the first one so the blood flow is easily through the vessels whereas in the second figure the blood pressure is high the heart pumping is very harder the strokes are very harder so the blood may not flow easily through the vessels so this is what hypertension is so hypertension so in hypertension the asanas that we are going to study are as tadasan vajrasana pavan muktasan chakrasana bhujangasana and shavasan back pain is not there but still you should know the asanas that can reduce back pain so the asanas are same tadasan ardhamachindrasan we have previously studied i guess vakrasana shalvasana and bhujangasana so this are all the asanas related to hypertension and back pain now we are going to study the methods to prevent and manage hypertension so there are six points that we are going to discuss regarding the preventive measures of hypertension as we have previously studied that doing regular exercise may reduce both asthma diabetes here hypertension is also been reduced due to doing regular exercise the second one is eating healthy diet so what is eating healthy diet we have previously studied in the unit 2 i guess health and nutrition that we have studied regarding the healthy diet what is healthy diet what is balanced diet so the point this point is mainly important the next point is proper sleeping habit you should sleep properly at least 7 hours sleep is needed fourth point is reducing stress fifth reduction of consumption of alcohol it should be avoided then the next point is avoid tobacco products so these are all the points that prevent and manage hypertension we are going to study in detail about the asanas that are, that prevent or that help to reduce hypertension the first one is tadasana Tadasana is also known as the palm tree pose. The word is derived from the Sanskrit word tada, which means palm tree. Tadasana is the beginning and the ending asan of Surya Namaskar. 
while doing Surya Namaskar, the first pose is Tadasana, in which uh, the heels are being touched, whereas in Tadasana, we lift our heels up and stretch our body to its extreme level. So, according to the Ashtanga Yoga, it's been told that Surya Namaskar's first and the last step is Tadasana. Procedure to perform Tadasana. So, how to perform Tadasana? Stand straight on the floor, then take a small gap between your feet. After a deep inhalation, Keep your both arms raised upward. Keep the upward arms in an interlocking fingers. That you can keep it in a namaskar posture too. Then come on the toes, raise your heels concurrently. Feel the pressure of stretching from the toes to the fingers. Try to maintain this pose along with a slow and deep breathing. Breathe very normally. Return to the original position with the deep exhalation and perform the numbers of rounds as per the capacity but having relaxation for a while after each round. What are the benefits of doing Tadasan? It strengthens the lungs, the pumping of your heart. This asana activates the nerves of the entire body. It improves strength of vertebral column. It also helps in improving digestion. It develops the strength of arms and legs. It also reduces the problem of flat foot. So these are all the benefits of doing Tadasana. It overall stretches your body so your so your body gets in a shape so that is also important so now we are going to study the contraindications of tadasana the person suffering from headaches low blood pressure and isomenia are advised not to practice this asan without consulting the yoga instructor during pregnancy this asan should be avoided the next asan is Vajrasan. We have this asan is also known as Thunderbolt pose. The procedure benefits and contraindications have been already discussed in our part one. So we are not going to get it again. You may revise it from your first part. The next asan is Pavan Muktasana. This asan too we have discussed the procedure benefits and contraindications have been discussed in the part 1. So here we would uh, rather know about this asan we can call Pawan Muktasana is also as gas release pose. Asan is Ardha Chakrasana. Ardha Chakrasana is also known as half wheel pose. The name is derived from the Sanskrit word Ardha meaning half and Chakra which means wheel. So it is also known as half wheel pose. Ardha Chakrasan is one among the uh, step of Surya Namaskar. Procedure How to perform Ardha Chakrasana Firstly Stand straight with the feet together and arm raised alongside. Give weight equally on both the feet. After inhalation, extend your arms overhead. Palm facing each other in a namaskar posture. Exhale, then gently bend backward, pushing the pelvis forward. Keep the arms in line with the ears. Elbows and knees must be kept straight. Head up and chest must be lifted towards the ceiling. Hold and inhale and then come back to your original posture.
while exhaling bring your arms down we are going to study the benefits and contraindications of ardha chakrasana so it improves the strength of the front upper torso it also develops the tone of the arms and shoulder muscles the contraindications of ardha chakrasana are the person suffering with serious hip or spinal problem should avoid this asana patients of high blood pressure and brain alignment should avoid this asana peptic or duodental ulcer and hernia patients should avoid this asana during pregnancy this asana should be also avoided we are going to study about the procedure benefits and contraindications of the various asanas that cures diabetes and which first we are going to study about bhujangasan bhujangasan the name comes from the sanskrit word bhujanga that means snake or cobra and the asan means posture or seat from the resemblance to the cobra with its hood raised the pose is described in the 17th century by hatha yoga Bhujangasan is a reclining back bending asan in hatha yoga and modern yoga as an exercise it is commonly performed in a cycle of asanas in surya namaskar that is sun salutation as an alternative to udva mukha shavasana the last asan that we are going to study is shavasana Shavasana is also known as the corpus pose. This asan is derived from the Sanskrit word shava which means corpus. This pose looks like a sleeping pose. It is very simple and everyone can do it. So this asan is most favorite among our yoga class. How to perform shavasana? Lie flat on the back like a sleeping pose. and the legs should be separated keep arms at the side and palms facing up just relax your body close your eyes and breathe deeply and slowly through your nostrils start concentrating from head to the feet you can start it from your toes to your head no matter from where you start This shows that a person doing this asan is consciously relaxing each and every part of his body. The muscles get relaxed while doing this asan. Those having a good concentration can practice for a long time. However, other can practice it for 3 to 5 minutes. But trust me, this asan gives a lot of benefits. it feels like a heaven the benefits of doing shavasana it relaxes your whole body it helps in releasing stress fatigue depression and tension it also improves your concentration whereas it helps in curing insomnia it calms the mind and improves the mental health it also stimulates blood circulation it is beneficial for those suffering from neurological problems asthma constipation diabetes and indigestion so further the contraindications this asan is absolutely safe and can be practiced by anyone unless the doctor has advised not to lie on the back someone with a severe acidity may find lying on the back very uncomfortable as the food pipe may cause irritation so they should avoid this so this was about the third unit yoga and lifestyle i hope it was a wonderful session and you would practice it along with me thank you